everything you have shown on YouTube so far. Um, stop thinking about the numbers. Yay! Ready? Action! <laughs> Hola beautiful people, it's Nona here. If you don't know, it's the Northern Nation. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I go by the name of Nono. Um, I'm also known as Nontlantla Joy Zondo in full. So here in the streets of YouTube, I'm called Nono Zondo. So hey guys, um, on today's sit down, <laughs> yes, it's different. It's different from the other sit downs. It's one of many. So, so with today's sit down, um, I just wanted to do a bit of e reflecting on YouTube. Just wanted to do a bit of reflecting on YouTube since I've been here for a year on YouTube. So let's dive in to some of the questions that I'm sure some people really want to find out since being on YouTube for a year. So I'm going to be looking here guys. I've wrote some questions down here on this um, pad, notepad. It's quite big but yeah. So there's some few questions I know. There's some few questions I know a lot of people want to ask. The first one is So what I have learned creating content on YouTube. Hmm. I started from humble beginnings guys. Um, I'm not up there yet but um, I started three years ago if I'm not mistaken. Um, I posted my first video which was back in 2021 when we had lockdown and actually it was before lockdown before they actually said we're gonna cut but yeah so it was February 19th 2021 so that was my first video looking back from now looking back from then um, I didn't quite navigate my way on this whole creating content thing um, I was still starting out I don't want to lie I had my good but I would say I had more of the bads because I was not quite um, proper when it comes to um, posting content. I was still a bit shy. Um, like I said, my first video was back three years ago and I was really, really scared and I stopped <laughs> that whole um, 2021. I stopped and then I think I started back again um, in 2022 when I had before I was about to move to Cape Town um, I remember I'm trying to say so when I was back in Cape Town I started uh, posting when I was there in Cape Town because there was a certain person who was pushing me into growing this YouTube channel but I will talk about him later so um, what I've learned about being on YouTube for a year um, there's a lot I've learned about myself, I've learned um, about this whole content thing, um, I had sleepless nights um, because I wanted to push e-content so there will be late nights um, editing and um, I would also edit at work and um, on my off days I would edit and the content thing was always in my head, um, I would never get a break because I want to push the content so yeah I've learned a lot um, it has shown me um, being confident on a camera um, like I'm doing now sitting down having this uh, chit chat with you guys um, it gave me that um, confidence boosting me that confident of sitting behind a camera sitting in front of a camera not behind this time around but yeah I've learned a lot of things about myself and this whole journey of content like YouTube would always say you are a content creator so I've learned a lot but I hope I'm making sense I'm gonna be rambling there's gonna be a lot of editing so 
<laughs> yeah that's what i've learned so far being on youtube for a full year never mind all those hiccups but for a full year i've learned quite a lot but yeah let's go to the next Okay, <laughs> that part. Um, I had my first engagement with an audience. Um, I think it was back in when I had my, my first try and haul. And as you might have seen, I've tried and link it up here. Um, my first try and haul that I created with Ukemsley. Um, he was an ex colleague of mine back in Cape Town. Still love him to bits. So yeah, we created um, a try and haul where I had um, where I had um, a try and haul with Big Blue in collaboration with Big Blue, and I had this one comment where I don't know if it was a lady. Um, just not sure. I'll try and put it here. The 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 actual comment where she was like embracing me and showing me good girl keep pushing you authentic you're different um and then i was like wow i got my first engagement with a with a with a, um, a subscriber and it was so nice i'll never forget that first time i had my first comment down on my post when i posted a video which was that um try and haul that i first i think it was the first one if i'm not mistaken or it could be the second one but that was my first engagement and um i hope to also grow with getting more um um comments on my on my posts but i think i am already um my my engagements with my youtubers my studies they engage you with me my audience you guys <laughs> are already um sending your messages through um if i'm posting even likes i'm happy about it i appreciate all the experts around all the meaty greeties can i say that all the engagement where you guys like my post or you like my videos or, and then you subscribe also that just brings joy to me because i can see what you know what what i'm doing is actually not going low it's not on the down low it's not like i'm pushing your content and then people are not watching it i get to like receive some lovely messages which i really really appreciate and yeah thank you guys you're helping me grow my channel so that's all we can uh thank and appreciate each and every one of you that you guys giving me that love and yeah so yeah guys um, my engagement is growing and I hope to grow eventually even more and I hope to help me with um, all these new things that are happening on my channel and I get to be focused and not lose track or anything so yeah I see my channel is growing but yeah let's go to the next question <laughs> Someone told me about YouTube before I started that you will get some backlash I know I know I know um, I remember please say don't kill me um, I remember say when we were having that lunch date that we had um, she did tell me would see you're actually setting yourself for receiving any backlashes since you decided to be posting and being on YouTube so be expecting of all the backlashes I wish someone told me what you're gonna have to have a tough skin um, journey so yeah I wish someone told me what you need to toughen up um, I'm one of those people who um, who shy away from confrontations and stuff so when I had first received my not so nice post um, yeah but I'm not gonna get into it but yeah um, I wish someone told me would see you need to toughen up girl and yeah 
and then also another thing I wish someone told me um, that you're gonna have sleepless nights all I ever think about is what video am I gonna post next um, are people gonna engage in my content I cannot get sleep because I'm thinking of content all the time. I'm thinking of my audience. Are they gonna like my video that I'm gonna be posting? Or I'll be checking numbers. And another thing, they always tell you on YouTube, stop thinking about the numbers. Yay! <laughs> That's a lie, you would always think about numbers. You would always think about numbers. So guys, there's a smoke that's going on because I switched on e my incense. So yeah. A lot of people never told you, Uti, you're gonna have sleepless nights. You're thinking content this, you're thinking of posting, you're thinking whenever you're going to a mall, you're thinking, eh, hey, content, eh, hey, whenever you're going somewhere, eh, hey, take a vlog, take, ah. All you ever think about is content, 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 content. And, and oh, another thing, I'm getting a lot of support. Um, from a lot of different people and I really appreciate it um, and then another thing which people don't tell you the people that you know sorry guys the people that you know are not the ones who are always going to be supporting you especially when it comes to like um, commenting liking and all those things yes they're gonna be there um, for those moments where they're like okay let's subscribe let's help her and they're not going to be the ones who are always there to like um, <laughs> the reason why I'm saying that um, you're not going to be getting support a lot uh, from your family they also have their lives and stuff and yet you want to push your content so I would say you end up getting support from people outside your family and which is great also um but then again also it has its ups and downs but i'm not going to get into that so not really i don't regret anything that i've posted so far um the only thing that I regret is doing E. Um, I am going to be doing it. It's just that um, I have this high, high, I think about three videos. Three videos that are really high on views. And then when I compare it with my subscribers, it don't make sense. I aid. It doesn't work. It don't make sense so when I see those three videos I'm regretting them in a way because um, yes it's giving me high views but my subscribers are not adding up so do I regret posting those not really um, the reason why I say not really it also gave me some subscribers it's just that um, my subscribers now are mostly males I wanna like level it up with females so it can um, be coherent, be in line and not the other being higher than the other which is males because of those three videos of self-care but I am going to continue with my self-care um, videos it's just that I kind of do regret um, because of the high rate on my views and but we'll eventually um, get uh, my subscribers and stuff but I've seen with my videos um, I mostly play around um, my views Besides those videos that got, they boomed. So those three videos, they boomed. But when I see my videos that I have currently um, that don't have much views, like I'll be around 30 views and then my highest will be 300. I think 300, those are my actual subscribers. Those people who actually watch my content 
and then those I know there's this video it's around 14 views um, those are not my subscribers they're just there because they saw that video popping up on their um, browser on their YouTube browser but yeah so next question I don't know if I'm making sense but other than that I regret that video those three videos but the others I don't regret if you guys are gonna unsubscribe because I'm not gonna be posting much of those videos um, I understand so it's okay if you want to go to the next best thing we understand but yeah so yeah that's all I can say I was pushed <laughs> I was pushed into doing YouTube um, I remember there was this hype yeah back in 2021 there was a huge hype of YouTube um, you might have seen that I actually started my YouTube channel back in 2014 but I only started posting my first actual video in 2021 in back in 2021 so my first video was my hair um, content I remember it was on the 19th February 2021 so that's the first video that I started because a lot of people my cousins my family members and my friend back then used to like push me about doing um, hair care and stuff showing people my hair and how I treat my hair so that was the whole idea of starting the whole um, YouTube and then I stopped I think I stopped for a year and then yeah I stopped for a year and then I started I restarted it again I think it was two years ago 2022 uh, when I moved to Cape Town and then I met someone else also who pushed me hey why don't you do YouTube and stuff since you've got a camera he saw that I have a Canon camera um, my DSLR that I'm using now so he was like why don't you just do um, try and holes because you work in retail so you're having these clothes that she's selling here why don't you just make content and then I dived in even further sorry so I dived in even further on YouTube because of those two things because of my hair and my my content of pushing try and holds where I'll wear big blue I'll work with Ipi blue have those collaborations and stuff and yeah that was my starting point on pushing my channel and I never looked back Ever since and now I've been pushing um, vlogs I've did some um, sit down moments where I'm driving I'm constantly talking always on my car and some people they like that and um, I also get to share some moments where like I am not so good moments and I get to sure I get to also show how I live my lifestyle and yeah those are some of the reasons why I started YouTube but mostly it's because of beauty and stuff so yeah what what I'm taking with me that I've learned while being on YouTube for a full year let's say that <laughs> so um, what I'm taking with me is I am taking my channel and showcasing even more of myself um, I'm not going to change who I am I'm going to show you even more some parts um, another thing also I'm having a lot of confidence in myself and I'm gonna take that with me because it's I know I had my first 
not so nice comment where this lady was like your voice makes me like i want to sleep um i remember she posted that and i was like girl are you serious and then i went back and watched her vlog and then i was like e anyways she i might not be for her but there is someone actually out there who'd um like my content so i am gonna take that with me um if someone brings me down i'm gonna push even further and i'm not gonna back down um what i'm also taking with me is my confidence i pray to god who could i even grow even further and i eventually get to work with different brands because i have like um send out emails to some hair hair brands where i want to work with them and i hope they do get back to me <laughs> if not we're gonna try until they eventually see us and i'm not gonna die down i'm not gonna cry about it if they didn't respond to me i'm gonna keep on putting messages i'm gonna keep on sending emails and pushing and pushing and then eventually my channel will grow and then i will make a name for myself because i really really want to get into the business yeah yeah um i want to get into the whole business of beauty and get back to designing because i did go to school for fashion designing and make a name for myself and eventually stand on my own and yeah i just want to be different and grow in my own lane it may take me years um yours channel she had the channel for seven years and she got her plank last year if i'm not mistaken it arrived this year 100k subscribers and if my journey is gonna be slow so be it so we're gonna make it through and i'm not gonna stop because i really really like this this whole youtube thing i am in love with it i breathe it i think of it i cry about it because of the numbers and stuff i know they say don't care about the numbers but you can feel the pain wooty hey, the numbers are not ending but anyways yeah i'm taking that with me my confidence and stuff i'm not gonna stop we're not gonna stop we go move and go and hi <laughs> we have reached the end so those were some of the questions that i had for since being on youtube for a full year so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope that you understand what i was saying i might have not been in line with some few things but i hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe 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 yeah they said when you say subscribe the subscribing um thing it goes it blings so i hope you see it so do the right thing and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell and subscribe to my channel and also please if you leave me a like i really 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 appreciate it till next time from my heart to yours have a blessed week ahead bye guys bye